Massage Chair Relief. And uh, today on, oh, there, just now it started. I'm, this is Dr. Alan Wagner from Massage Chair Relief. And uh, today I've got Gabe, excuse me, Gabe Kramer on the phone, who is one of our customers who purchased a Human Touch Novo XP. Uh, how long ago was that, Gabe? Was that uh, a couple of years ago or? Oh, boy. Um, we probably had it. Oh, man. A year and a half-ish? I... Something like that, maybe a couple, maybe it is two years. Maybe it is, is it two years? I don't know. It could be. It's, it seems like it's been a couple of years, but uh, at my age, everything's a couple of years. But I, 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 at least the thing that's the advantage of that is that you've had it for a while. You know the chair. You know the ins and outs of the chair. You know what you like about it. Uh, so you're a seasoned veteran in the massage chair world. So I want to ask you some questions about that. So tell me a little bit about your experience in getting a chair and how you decided on the on the Novo. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, my wife has kind of been the one pushing it. She's wanted a massage chair probably since she was a kid, honestly. And, you know, just never had the money to get one or she hadn't. And uh, and so we started talking about it. And, uh, you know, the first thing you do, like anybody does, is go online. You start, you know, looking at best massage chairs, right? So you Google that and you start seeing some things. So that's kind of how we started the process, um, really trying to find uh, some kind of feedback, user input, ratings, like to see what people like the best, right? But uh, it, it when, when we when we found it was kind of crazy because we I don't know how we even came across across you, but we we found you and then we learned that it was like a storefront so i was trying to figure out like who who is this guy like who is it like is he representing just one chair like i it was it was kind of weird at first to be honest but um you know we out of my garage. Yeah, yeah yeah i mean it was really easy to get a hold of you and i remember we we talk, I talked to you on the phone or something and we set up an appointment and we you know we walked in it was like oh my gosh there was probably 15 plus chairs in your in your showroom and like all kinds of manufacturers. So it kind of took my, it took me a little bit of time to get my head wrapped around what you were doing. But I mean, it was amazing because um, everything we were trying to find online was right there for us to try. I mean, you know, I, and I recognized probably at least three or four chairs you had in there of stuff I read reviews on. And li like one was the, Oh my gosh, it was like the dream massage. It was supposed to be like one of the best rated chairs of all time. Yeah, they not a dream wave at the time. Yeah, 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 right, right. And you know, I remember I remember I tried it out after I don't know three or four other ones. And I was like, eh, you know, this is not really for me. I wasn't that impressed. Uh and not that it wasn't a good chair, but it just wasn't really what we were looking for. So it was kind of like, okay. I mean, I think about it now, it's like, okay, reviews are great, but oh my gosh, until you sit in it, you really don't know. And, and and you may not even know what you want until you sit in three or four of them. And it's like, right. well, that is important to me, you know? So we kind of went through that whole process with you. And even in just the 45 minutes with you, I mean, we could, we could make a good decision, like, okay, this is what we want. And, um, and that's how it all played out. But uh, I mean, it was, it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to have them. I, I, I think the one downside of having a ton of uh, chairs, if it's in fact a downside, is that you can get confused. Like I know some people will come in there and they go, I like that one, I like that one, I like that one. And before you know it, they're just overwhelmed and they, they got to leave and come back, you know, another day just to clear their heads. But uh, for you, it was pretty, I mean, you guys had a pretty good feeling for that Noble. You, you pretty much knew that was the one you wanted once you started sitting in there, right? Yeah, I mean, it was between two um, that I remember, like we were looking at one other one and that one in the store. And I think I think we liked the Novo because it um, I don't know if aggressive is the right word, but it really felt like it dug in pretty deep and uh, and and it made an impact. And it seemed to hit kind of the right spots um, when we were there. So, I mean, it felt like we felt pretty good about making a decision and say, okay, this is good. And especially because of trying out, I mean, you know, if you don't compare, then how are you going to know? So, right. um, you know, that, that, that's really what helped seal the deal too, because we could, you know, you, I remember you told me, you said something like, well, 
these are like some of the highest rated ones, you know, you pointed to three, or these are the ones people like a lot, or these are the best selling ones, right? And so that kind of knowledge there helps too, because you're kind of weeding out a bunch already. And I mean, you had a lot of popular ones in there, a lot of like, you know, that was the cool thing. I mean, you had so many different ones in there and I, and I had read enough online to know like, Oh man, this guy really, I, I could tell you, you've, you've either done like lots of research over the years or, I mean, you, you just had a very good selection of some of the top rated ones in there. So it, that was cool too. So, so when you, so you said it was mostly your wife in the, at the beginning who was looking for the chair. Did she have any particular symptoms that she was looking for relief from, or you were like back pain, neck pain, headaches, anything like that? Or was it just for relaxation or stress relief? Uh, probably more, probably more relaxation, stress relief, enjoyment. Um, I think that's really why she has wanted to win all these years just to kind of sit and relax. And, you know, we all, we're all so busy all the time and it's just like, okay, well, I'm going to just sit in the chair and just not do anything. Right. So okay. I think that's really the main reason, um, that, that she wanted it. And uh, it's been really good. So, so it's done that for you. So she still does. She still use it quite a bit. Do you guys still use it quite a bit? Yeah, we do. I, I've, I've kind of gone on cycles where I'll use it and then I won't for you know maybe a month or so, and then I'll go back. She's pretty much in there regularly. Um, and I mean, yeah, it's been two years already. It's still. I mean, we don't regret it at all. Of course. I mean, it's been a very good thing to buy and just you know a, a nice luxury to have for sure. So. Well, were there any were there any things that uh, and I think I, we may have talked about this before I can't remember but uh, was there anything uh, about the uh, about the chair that some benefit you got from it that you weren't expecting like I mean you you didn't get it early for any pain or discomfort or anything like that but did you notice anything different like uh, some people notice that they have more range of motion or they sleep better or or whatever was there anything like that and if you didn't that's fine too but I'm just wondering uh, yeah you know one thing I can think of and she might she would probably have a different, um, she may be able to come up with something pretty cool. Um, but one thing like I didn't expect was, you know, I'll, I'll use it at night and sometimes it takes me a while to wind down. You know, if you're, you're going, going, going all day and, you know, sometimes you, you want to, you just, you need to wind down and like, you'll turn on the TV. Right. And you can watch two hours worth of shows and then finally you wind down, but it's way late and you've, you know, you've stimulated your brain with all that, uh, whatever the show is. And then also looking at a screen is not good on your eyes at night either. Um, but for me, like the chair wound me down, like mm. I, I, I put on a 15 or 30 minute cycle and man, I'm ready for bed, which is pretty cool. Like oh. it's, I, I love actually doing that. Um, and it's I, I did not expect that at all and nor that i even think about that but now i put two and two together it's like oh man it really helped me wind down uh just yeah. from going and going so you have the chair in your bedroom was it like right next to bed or you can just hop out or is it in more yeah, so it, totally, it totally is yeah i mean we, we don't have a big master either but it's like we have just just enough i mean we have enough for the bed and then you know at, if in our beds against the wall and then like the foot of the bed is probably i don't know man maybe like six feet from the wall five or six yeah. feet so it's not a real big room at all but we have the chair in the corner and yeah. there's enough room to walk you know my that's it's it's kind of on my side but in the opposite corner and then you could walk around the base of the bed and still get around it but yeah it's right there in the room so i could literally i mean if i i mean i've done this a couple of times too if i can't sleep or something uh or i wake up in the middle of the night i can't go to sleep i'll just go sit in the chair which is pretty slick so you know, I, I, and I'm embarrassed to say this, but I should probably try that because <laughs> I've got the chair in my living room and I often don't think about using it before I go to bed because I'll, I'm, you know, run around the house and then I'll eventually end up in bed and do a little reading or whatever. But I don't think, to, and sometimes I do struggle getting to sleep and uh, maybe I should try a massage. You know, this sounds so odd coming from the, the, the massage chair guy. <laughs> maybe, maybe I, I should try that one night. <laughs> You can still learn something new, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I hear it, and I, people tell me this, and I tell people that this is a, a side effect of uh, having a massage here, but, geez, the, the plumber, you know what they say, the plumber's got the worst uh, yeah. worst plumbing, and the chiropractor, which I am, the kids have all, all the kids have headaches. So yeah. I, I don't know, I guess the massage chair guy doesn't use it to go to sleep, but, but right. you kind of motivated me to try that tonight. 
Right. That's All cool. right. Now, oh, sorry. Well, okay. Now, uh, so you've been you've been through the search process. Oh, first of all, before before I get to that, what what features do you like most about this chair? Is there any particular thing about it that you really really like, or or anything that stands yeah. out? Um, love the heat function. You know, you could turn heat off off and on, and obviously in the summer we're not using that. But you know, we my wife loves the window open to keep it cool in the room, and so for me, kicking that heat on is freaking beautiful. So that's nice. Um, I really like. Um, I can't even remember if mine's the L or the S type, but I, I, I like the way the roll, and this was even from the beginning, the way that the rollers just come along my back and can, and in the butt and just can really get in there and, and work it good. Um, and then I, I always like the, uh, the air functions too, how it kind of compresses you and squeezes you and stuff. I mean, that's pretty cool too. So those are probably my favorite things, I think. Any part of the chair that you don't like or that you wish was better or that was improved upon or a feature that you wish it had that it didn't have? Uh, the only thing I could say I don't like is on the foot part, uh, the back of the calf, it has these things that like go, they push in. Yeah. And for whatever reason, like it just does not feel great. Um, it's almost painful and I don't know. I don't know if it's just like the setting we have. I mean, it could be something we're doing, but my wife actually doesn't like it either. So mm -hmm. I just figured like, well, it's just, you know, some people probably like it, but it's, it, we, we don't care for that part. But I mean, everything else is is real solid. We like everything else. Well, you know, what, one thing you could try doing with that, and I've, and I've not played with this myself, but I do know that this, I've done it on other chairs. But what often is the, is the discomfort for feet and calf uh, mechanisms is that the airbags push down too hard on the on on the foot onto the foot rollers or onto the legs onto the calves, so mm -hmm. it's pushed too hard. So I guess the one thing you could try doing is decreasing the airbag intensity. You know, the, the I think they call it cloud tech in the, on the human touch chair, and okay. decrease the intensity down to maybe a one, and you might not feel it quite as intense on the calf. Is that going to lower the other like? Yeah. Or do you like it? Yeah, yeah. that's the drawback. Is that it? it it's a global decrease in air pressure. I see. Uh, maybe we can kick it down one or two notches. I mean, because it it's pretty like that chair, man, really gets into you. So, I mean, it sometimes even when it's like pressing my arms, if I if I do it over and over and over, it'll start like just to hurt a little bit just because it's like we but I think we have it on the highest setting, too. So yeah. that's probably too But Well, anything that stays in one place and continually works on you like a foot roller or a calf thing, yeah. it can it can become irritating after a while and that applies to all chairs but so i get what you're saying i i, I feel it yeah now for anybody that's that's uh, like looking to get a chair do you have any words of advice based on your experience i mean of course not everybody can come to to my showroom or a showroom but uh, do you have any other words of advice for someone who's who's looking for a chair right now because those are the people that are going to be watching this video are folks that are probably trying to decide on a chair and maybe uh you know maybe could use a tip or any suggestions you might have yeah, I mean, do you take phone calls? <laughs> I mean, you know, you you really honestly like I mean, if 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 you're if you're looking at a chair, you've probably gone into like a furniture store or some place that has a chair that you sat in and you're like, "Oh, this is awesome, right?" So then maybe your curiosity's gone further. Oh, let me see what's out there, right? So then you get online. Uh, but man, it it just helps to have somebody to talk to that knows a lot about different chairs and you could tell them hey we really love this we really want something that has like 100 airbags because we like this or whatever or or even maybe you don't even know that specifically maybe you just know like man my my feet and my lower back i really want something right but how are you going to find that you, you you certainly you can hunt online right but uh if you could pick up the phone and call somebody and get some really good feedback i mean that would be faster, right? And a little more efficient. And somebody who knows what they're talking about is not biased to one manufacturer or not. That's the other thing that has been great with you. Like you'll sell any of the chairs that you just want people to find a chair they like and be happy, right? So yeah. I mean, it's pretty simple. So I, I, I really think like finding somebody like you or you would be the best thing because I don't know, it's hard to really see how you would narrow in on something. And I mean, you, dude, you're looking at a chair. That's a lot of money you're going to spend. You're going to spend at least 2,500, three grand and up. 
and you know you want it to be for the long haul it's kind of a little bit of an investment for you um and in some cases it may be like a health thing for you too which is even more important so it's like okay well you really should talk to somebody who i mean that's what i would say i, I don't know how else you would do that but no that's a good suggestion and the next best thing to going to a store and actually sitting in them is having someone talk you through the, the experience of the chair so like I've gone down to the showroom many times here in Utah, I'm only here by appointment, but someone will call and they'll say, hey, you know, what? how does the low back feel compared, you know, on the, on the Novo compared to the Dreamwave? And I can actually go and sit in the chair. I go down the showroom while I'm there. I'll call the customer and say, OK, I'm here. I'm sitting on them and this chair is definitely stronger in the low back. So it's almost like you're there, but not quite. But yeah, that that that's a great suggestion. And of course, we do answer the phone and I I often do answer it. So. But that's a great suggestion, Gabe. Yeah, I know you do. I, I was being it's funny. You do take calls because you took mine. But <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, no, it's been uh, I mean, having gone through the process, like I just I think back through everything and how we settled in on what we have. And I just honestly can't think of like uh, a better way to do that. I mean, to, to really get the most for your money and not like and, and you know, people buy. I'm sure people buy stuff all the time and. That's all they, you know, maybe they buy it online. I mean, I almost did that. I almost were just reading some reviews, bought something online and we would have lived with it. Right. But it's funny because we came to your store. I saw that same chair. I tried it out and I was not nearly as impressed with the one we ended up getting. So like, I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. I now know that I would not have been happy with that, but had I would have, if I would have just bought that one and the price was almost the same too. So like, had I, had I would have had I not come to you and just bought the one online, which I almost did, uh, we would have had that and stayed with it. But it wouldn't nearly have been as as good as what we have, and we wouldn't have even known that. That's the crazy thing. So, yeah. well, maybe that's a good thing then, because you know, so if you've never had a massage or anything that rolls up and down your back, will be great. When I first started this business, we had a chair in the clinic. All it did was roll up and down your back. It had no foot thing, no arm thing, just roll up and on your back. Oh, and people loved it. But now with these new ones, yeah, once you've tried it, oh, my gosh. And I'll have people come to the showroom, Gabe, and they'll say, okay, my budget is $3,000. And so we'll put them in shares that are in that price range. By the end of the day, and I do not try to upsell people. They'll say, well, anything else can do this or that and the other. And the next thing you know, they're buying a $7,000 share because it feels so good. And so probably after the fact, you're thinking, why did I ever say, why did I even ask Widener why I'm, if there's a chair that has this feature or whatever? So people are probably going to be happy anyways, but boy, once you know the difference, boy, it, it getting a good chair is important. The one that you really, really like. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, Gabe, you've been wonderful. I thank you so much. And I appreciate you taking time. And, and what people don't know that are watching this video is you and I tried this a few months ago when I could not get the software to work to do the interviews. And uh, you were very, very patient then. And you came back and <laughs> I was almost embarrassed to say, uh, sorry, Gabe. The interview didn't work. <laughs> so I waited like a month or two. Uh, and then we had the guy to get a whole new computer. And then anyway, so I'm really grateful to you. Thanks for being so patient and tolerant. You've been, and you've got wonderful insights and help. Thank you. No, well, no worries. I appreciate it. I really, again, we're very grateful to you for, you know, all the help you gave us. I mean, we even had, I don't know if you want me to say this, but we even had a, an issue go out with the foot thing and like you helped us tremendously and it was like didn't cost any money it was under warranty it was a breeze it was like i mean so you know that if anybody has a fear about that kind of thing i mean you were great with us so uh and you know when you're paying that much money you want to make you're kind of like okay well what's a warranty or how are you going to service so that's another thing from buying from somebody like you where you know in this case you're in utah so there's a storefront but i mean you know you're you probably deal with people all over the nation so Thank you. I appreciate that uh, that testimonial because uh, we do we offer lifetime labor warranty, as you know, and and yeah. uh, they'll have problems with their chairs. And uh, I've some of my competitors have told my customers that my lifetime labor warranty is a sham and that it's uh, it's just a uh, no, really, they do, and, and it upset me so much to hear that. But you know, it's nice to hear from people like you that say that you know we took care of you and everything was taken care of. So that means a lot to me. But appreciate without, it. without a hitch, man, without a hitch, and it's like I I, I would. I would have no hesitation whatsoever on buying any other chair from you in the future. I mean, it would just be a no brainer. So for sure. Well, you're kind. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. And I really appreciate your time again. And I know you're busy, so you're okay. valuable. We appreciate it very much. Okay. Thanks. It's a good All right, talk. Take okay. care. Take care. Bye-bye.